Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to be doing the sheep the same way we did the goats. We're going to be doing the endovac, uh, two c or one cc, and the uh, CD and T at two cc's. And these will all go back to pasture and get ready to to lamb in uh, first part of May, first of May there. So we're uh, doing the same thing as we did to the the uh, nanny goats there a couple days ago. So here we go. Uh, Travis is giving the CD and T. It's just basically the same way as you're doing it in the goats. Up in the neck or the shoulder. Doesn't take like an instant. When they move, you just move with them. Check some of those eyes there. Yeah, it's going to check their eyes. You see how red that eye is, guys? Use a sheep, you're just going to have a much redder eye than what you hardly ever see in a, in a goat. Um, our goats are not going to have that bright of a red of an eye. Show another one. Yeah, and that's just the, I think the nature of them, or maybe it's just that our goat's always going to have a little bit of a worm load, um, but they're just going to have to have it because we can't worm everybody. We're not going to worm them until they're a number three or or less on a Camacho score, probably less, because you're going to you're going to wear out your wormer, and it's going to develop resistance and so our goats are just going to have to perform with somewhat of a worm load and they do and yeah some of them don't but, uh, that's just you know, you're going to wear yourself out if you worm everybody that's that's just a little light, light pink so he's going to leave one in the alleyway there which helps to get the, the next group in if they can see one in there Okay, so I wanted to uh, let you know here what needle we're using. This is a, a 5 8 length needle, 16 gauge. Now, when you push it through those uh, views, you're going to have to push down kind of with a lot of force and kind of hard get through their hide, but it'll work fine. That's all there is to it. So that was uh, 148 plus uh, five rams, I think. And it took us about an hour. We checked all the eyelids, gave the CD and T, and the endovac. And uh, so now, uh, we actually, we didn't worm anyone. Uh, it's very rare that we would worm a sheep. It happens sometimes. Mostly, might be a, a lamb in the summertime when the worms are more prevalent, 
and the uh, uh, juveniles are more susceptible to worms. So, uh, so yeah, it just it doesn't doesn't take that long, but you really need some decent facilities. Um, you know, you may not start out with something as, as good as this. I didn't, but uh, you want to have something that that you can use and use easily and efficiently. Well, we got a group of uh, dolings that we're going to go ahead and and bring up here and vaccinate them and have them ready to take out the pasture here whenever the time comes. So y'all have a good day.